In this session, we will extend your solution with OData capability, so the capability to integrate with other solutions so that, for example, external systems could send seminars or data into our custom solution. Um, it's going to be very easy because we are just doing it via the front end. We don't even need the application studio here, but because that's a very common task and it's based on your custom business object, I still would like to show it because I think it's a very easy and important way how to get data in your solution from external, no matter if that's via migration or really via a service that is calling via post. Okay, for enabling integration capabilities for your solution, you just need to go to Administrator and there you have the OData Service Explorer. And the OData Service Explorer, you have here on the top a section that's called Custom OData Services. And that's where you go. You go to the Custom OData Services and then you just create a new one. Here, let's create it Seminar OData. And we also enable it for the data workbench because then you can use the data workbench with the standard migration tool of the solution also to migrate mass data into your custom business object. Okay, so let's save and open our new OData integration here. Here in the first step, we need to select the business object. So we're going to do that. So here we can select the business object and in this one, we will find also our seminar. So here we have the seminar management, which is our solution. I have more here because I also created other seminars actually here. So the seminar management, we can just click OK here and then we get all the elements of our seminar management. So we get the root node here where we can select just the field that we would like to have as part of our service. The description, for example, and the name, the number of participants, seminar end date, seminar ID. No, we don't need that, that's generated. Yeah, that's okay. Seminar start date and maybe the teacher ID. So total revenue is calculated. Um, participants, we could also take, I will just make it easier now and make just one on header. I mean, we could also select these ones so that, ah, come on, let's take them also. So we also want to have the participants here. So we want to have almost all in our service. And then you will see it will generate us here the data service the, or data service. Um, now we could give the things all the nice name here. So that's the seminar management route. That's the seminar management participants. We could make it a bit more speaking here, um, but I, I leave it now like that. Let's just generate it basically. Um, yeah, and I think that's mostly it. Now let me see what here in the header we can fill out. Data work which enabled. Um, we could say no authorization checks, uh, we didn't do here. I would say that I select a work center, so every user that has this work center can also send data here. Um, let me select here our seminar management here. Um, that's our seminar management, yes. I hope so, I will take a look quick. Yep, I was right, it's this seminar management and not the other one. So then let me go back. So then this should be all right. So whoever has a seminar can also use the OData service. That's all, let's save, save successfully. I think that's about it. I mean, we could also now select different fields here. Oh, I didn't select it here fields. Let me quickly put them in. Payment confirmed, lunch request. For example, the payment confirmed could come from a different system that they want to update who has paid already for the seminar. Okay, so. Then this I save and now let's activate this one. And now we have an OData service. So here we have the endpoint now that where we find the description of our OData service. And we can just send to this API here basically then now a get request. We will get all seminars or a post request in order to create a new seminar. So let's do that. Um, I will use Postman. It's a tool that you can use for simulating OData services and show you how we can handle this OData service. But I mean, we are done basically. I mean, this is really all you need to do. Just choose whatever you want to have as part of your OData service, and then we can use it. Let's try it out. So you see already when I click on this link, then I get the metadata description of my uh, service here. And uh, But again, I want to use Postman to communicate with it. So give me a second here. 
So this here is Postman, where I just created a new request, and I call it Get Seminars, and that I just took the URL that we saw as the endpoint. And I will, when I send to this basic URL here, without the metadata, I get the services that are available. And here we, for example, see the seminar management root collection. And let me send a GET request exactly to this endpoint here. So I send a GET request here. Huh, and you see down here, I get all my seminars. So I get the Mathematic class here, I have the German lesson here, I have the Sales Cloud seminar. So I have the complete API already available here and uh, can read all the seminars. Um, if I clone this request here, duplicate, and let's call it post seminar. Okay, and now make this here a post. Oh, and then we take the URL from here. Okay, so let's save that one. So now we should also be able to post the seminar here. But for post, we also need the authorization. I did this the other one already already. And now I need to send also a body for a post. Um, eventually we need to do a bit more because we also need an XCRF token probably. Uh, let me try this out quickly. Yeah, so I put now here in the body under raw a very primitive payload, like just a name and the description for our seminar, and try to send this, and then I get a message CRF token failed. That's a security measurement that all the OData services have, so we first need to request a CRFR token. So let me create such a request also to do that. So for that, I will just uh, duplicate again the seminars here. Okay, and I can get this via a certain header. So I need to provide now the header that I would like to fetch the uh, CSR token. One moment. So let me rename this here first, get token. And now I need to put in the header this token and the value fetch. And when I should send just any get request with a token fetch, let's see, I should get in the header the token. So here you see I get a token. And this token I can use now in the post. So I go now here to the header, take this token, and in my post also in the header to enter the token here. And I mean, if you do this from program, you would do this automatically. I just do it now by hand. So and if I now have the token as part of my request, I should with this data being able to send hopefully a new seminar. Let's say, ah, and there is a new seminar created. Let's go to the front and let's take a look how our seminar looks. So if I do a refresh now here, ha, huh, there's a new seminar showing up. It's a very basic seminar with not many fields because we didn't transmit much information, but uh, let's, let's send another seminar. So now we have 10, like until 10, the seminars. So let's just enter me a two here. And now I send this again, send seminar. Ah, I get another K okay. and let's take a look. If I refresh here, we get another seminar. Let's add maybe the number of participants. So I just go here, my post request and let's take this one here. Okay. Uh, 30 participants, and that's good. And let's send, uh, let's make this number three. Okay, and let's send this one. Ah, oh, okay, I did something wrong here. Let me check. Okay, maybe without the parentheses, let's send. Ah, huh, now it worked because that was not a string here, it's a number. So now it worked and I said this, let's go to the front and see if we have now a new one with number of participants. Okay, refresh. Ah, and here we have the third seminar with number of participants. And that's how you can see how an external system could easily send data to you. For sure, and also an update would work here. I mean, this works now as a standard OData API of uh, Sales and Service Cloud here. I mean, there's also documentation on the API. Just look this up, but I guess you get a good idea how you can read now via the API and send data via the API, via the OData API. There is also a SOAP-based API, it's very easy to create those, um, but I just showed now only the OData. I will later on also show probably the SOAP API. I hope you enjoyed this session. That can help you to integrate now with your own build solution.